science news. UFOs confirmed. What are they? The United States Naval Air Systems Command just officially released three UFO videos. This is interesting because the government admits the footage contains unexplained aerial phenomena. Is this proof of aliens on Earth? What could these sightings be? I will explain why scientists are still skeptical, and I'll tell you why I think aliens do exist, but not on Earth. My name is Chris, and welcome to Science Talk TV. First, let's take a look at the three videos in question. These were recorded in 2004 and 2015. The aircraft in question look different in all of these videos. You can download these videos for yourself from the US military if you want to take a look at them, and the link's in the description below. We know these videos are not photoshopped because they're verified by the Navy, and in the audio behind them, you can hear the pilots who are like, clearly shocked by what they're seeing. Look at that thing! It's rotating. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! If you already believe UFOs are on Earth, this footage will help confirm your premature conclusion. The Naval Air Systems Command is not calling these alien spacecraft. They're just simply calling them unexplained aerial phenomena. So what could some plausible explanations be? All of these videos are taken using an infrared targeting system designed to lock the camera onto a heat signature. In the first video, FLIR.MP4, it looks like the UFO is able to quickly teleport and warp between positions. If you look at it again though, you can see the object isn't moving much at all. The camera is bouncing around and the targeting system is reacquiring. When the UFO moves, you can see the sky behind it move too, and the UFO only moves on camera when the camera moves as well. This is likely just a distant plane traveling in a straight line captured by an unstable camera. The second video, named Gimbal.WMV, is really shocking. It appears that there is a very strangely shaped aircraft maneuvering in a way that no man-made machine could. You need to remember, these videos are not what the pilots actually see, but the heat signature detected by an IR camera. As the file name suggests, this video is taken from a rotating camera called a gimbal. As the camera rotates, so does the lens glare. You've probably seen this flare phenomena when you're looking at a light and you tilt your head, or while you're driving. The lights look like they're spinning, but in reality, they're stationary, and the glare is the only thing spinning. Also, it's important to keep in mind that we are looking at heat signatures, not physical objects themselves. This very well could be the rear view of a fighter jet flying away with its engine glaring. The last video, GoFast.WMV, is my favorite video. The pilots have a hard time locking onto the UFO at first because it's moving so fast compared to them. It looks like this UFO is zipping across the surface of the ocean at an incredible speed. If this object was just above the surface, it sure would be moving fast, but a more likely explanation is that this UFO is much closer to the pilot's airplane than it is to the surface. This could be a weather balloon or a drone that isn't really moving at all. The fact that the aircraft with the IR targeting computer is moving so fast could make the nearby stationary object look like it's moving fast as well. This is probably just an optical illusion. Try closing one eye and looking out a window, and then point at a distant tree or, or something like that, and keep your fingers still. If you move your head back and forth, it'll look like your fingers zooming past the trees. But is your finger actually moving incredibly fast, or does it just look that way because it's so close to your eye? I would like to think that these videos are of alien spacecraft, but sadly, just because the Pentagon confirmed these videos as UFOs is not going to change any scientist or skeptic's mind. There is simply not enough evidence 
And there are reasonable terrestrial physical explanations we can think of. Even if we could not think of any earthly plausible explanation, the correct scientific answer to the question, what are these UFOs, is we don't know. We need more evidence and research. To claim that these UFOs are advanced alien spaceships simply because you can't think of a better explanation is a logical fallacy. There is no evidence that extraterrestrials have ever visited Earth. Maybe those UFOs were Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy. It's an argument from ignorance. I don't know is often the best answer. So aliens are probably not zooming around Earth today, but could there be intelligent life somewhere else in the universe? Personally, I do believe aliens exist given the vast size of our universe, but there's no evidence that they have ever visited our solar system. If advanced alien life did evolve, it is likely millions or even billions of light years away. With an estimated 40 billion Earth-like planets in our universe, I think several of them probably underwent the chemical process of abiogenesis. Abiogenesis is the process where living organisms form and start to replicate and evolve from non-living or inorganic substances. The problem here is that scientists have only studied one Earth-like planet, and we found life one time. With the sample size being only one, we can't work out the probability of the origin of life. Are we alone? Or are there millions of planets booming with super intelligent life? Have they already crossed the galaxies just to mess with us and give us no solid evidence for their existence? Subscribe for more videos every week about science news, animal facts, or one-on-one -on -one education. Thanks for watching Science Talk TV.